Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today we're going to do uh, an unboxing here of um, uh, a package that arrived today. And here, um, you know, there's something just so fun about getting a package in the mail. Uh, although this is something that I ordered um, from CW Pencil Enterprise, which some of you may be familiar with, in New York. And um, I ordered some pencils that I don't have. And I thought, okay, uh, that I'd like to try. So this is sort of a belated Christmas gift. Um, Thank you, Kevin and Joy. So this is my invoice here, what I bought. Um, but I love how they package things um, and they do a nice job. And they use these great envelopes and kind of crinkled up paper. Here's one thing in the mix. Uh, I have these in just chrome, uh, but these are a uh, Japanese manufactured pencil cap, and I just love the colors. And, um, you know, I carry a pencil around often with me uh, in my pocket, but you know, a pencil in the pocket is a recipe for um, a particular potential mess um, and getting your shirt marked up or your pants, either one. And um, so these are just some nice, fun, uh, very lightweight, I think they're aluminum, caps that go over the top of them. And I, like I said, I have them in just the chrome. But when I saw the colored ones, I thought those are too fun to pass up. So anyways, that's what's in here. Now, Let's take a look at what's in these envelopes. And I mean, I, I did place the order, so I kind of know what's in there, but you know, it's always one thing to see the stuff online and then to have it actually for real. Love the little oh, pencil tape. I don't need the scissors here. So here's envelope number one. Let's see what we got. Wow, look at this. Okay. Um, so here is a um, two Japanese pencils, two different Japanese makers. One is the Vermilion and Prussian Blue. Uh, this is sort of the original. Um, I forget the name of the company that makes these pencils, but they've been making them forever. And then I have a Tombow version of the um, blue and red pencil. And um, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do an episode just reviewing these. I have a couple others uh, from different manufacturers and we'll sort of compare and contrast them. Uh, I thought that would be interesting. They are, you know, it's like, oh, a blue and red pencil. Okay, well, if you've ever been a teacher uh, or an editor, and I've been blessed to be both of those things, a blue and red pencil is tools of the trade. And um, so I've got those. Um, uh, Con Diarche, a Swiss made pencil here, the Edelweiss. Um, which is uh, F grade uh, in the US, that'd be about a two and a half um, writing pencil, so I'm looking forward to that. This one is, here's one, this is the uh, CW Pencil's own, I don't know who she has make these, um, baseball scoring pencil. Uh, and I'm not sure, made in the USA. So I'm not sure who makes these for CW Pencil Enterprise, but I thought it was cool and I wanted to get one. Here is a General's Semi-Hex number one 
pencil. Uh, I just recently did a review of the semi-hex number two, so there's a number one. Uh, here is a, actually two, uh, these are Tombow 8900. I've got one in a HB number two and one in a B, a number one graded core. Uh, Tombow 8900, high quality since 1913 for general writing. So, be fun to, to give those a try. Here's an Indian made pencil. This is sort of a standard issue uh, Nataraj Ruby in HB number two pencil. Um, this is just a fun uh, pencil. It is made by the uh, Viarco Pencil Company, which is in Portugal. Uh, so it's a Portuguese made pencil, but I loved it because it has the multiplication tables on it. And um, I think I'm going to give this as a gift to a friend of mine who is a math teacher. And I just think it thought it was cool when I saw it. So I got it, got that. Then um, speaking of Viarco, I've got, um, let's see, uh, one, two, these are all uh, Viarco pencils here, and they are um, in B and H grades. So we basically have a soft pencil and a harder pencil and um, these would be could be used for drawing could be an art pencil um, or a writing pencil and over here we've got uh, another ruby I guess I did order two of those so that's that's what's in envelope number one all right now let's see there's the little stick piece of tape here. Envelope number two gives us this collection of pencils. Um, this is a um, Japanese pencil, a Mitsubishi mark sheet uh, in an HB grade number two. So I will look forward to, I'm wondering if this is sort of mark sheet, so I'm wondering if this is sort of a test taking um, style pencil, but we will, we will give it a, give it a go. Um, Mitsubishi makes wonderful pencils, by the way. Um, the ones I've used thus far, I've really enjoyed. Here's a Mitsubishi, 9852 pencil in an HB. This is says master, I don't know if you can, master writing pencil. Master writing pencil. So I will really look forward to using that. Um, here are a couple other pencils um, from the uh, General Pencil Company in Jersey City, New Jersey. This is the Badger, um, a basic um, number two school and office pencil. I've never used it before. Um, I haven't seen it available in stores. You see the semi-hex occasionally, but never the Badger. So I'll look forward to trying those uh, with you. I believe these two pink ones are identical. These are made by Moon Products, which are in, uh, Moon is in Tennessee. And this is the Futura pencil in pink. And um, I will uh, look forward to trying this. This is sort of a retro reissue. And I don't know if you can tell, even the ferrule here is sort of a pink anodized color. 
Um, these pencils were originally manufactured, uh, I think, by the best pencil company, um, which is no longer in business, but um, Moon Products is making them now, and so the Futura. Uh, speaking of Moon Products, we've got a couple others here. This is the Tri-Rex um, with eraser, and um, the Tri-Rex is a triangular pencil, and uh, this is a number two, uh, and I have used the standard Tri-Rex, which is blue, without a, no ferrule, no eraser. Um, so we'll, we'll take a look at those. Uh, Kitabashi, general use pencil, um, and in HB, academic writing, it says an academic writing pencil, an HB, uh, Kitabashi. Uh, I think this is the company that makes the, um, uh, the Vermilion uh, and Prussian blue pencil. Same, uh, small family owned pencil company in Japan. Here, I think these thought these pencils were just beautiful and wild. No two are the same, apparently. This is the Nataraj Marble Pencil in HB. These, of course, are made in India by the Hindustan Pencil Company. So we will, we will check those out. Uh, what do I have here? Another Mitsubishi Master Writing. I guess I was so excited I ordered two of these. Oh, this one I was really excited about. This is from the General Pencil Company. This is the Big Boy Bowler Pencil. Now, um, of course, it uh, has a wider uh, circumference barrel and a wider core but this is a pencil that bowling alleys would give out when you, um, and some of them perhaps still do, uh, when you uh, go and you get your lane assignment and you get a big sheet of paper that has the grid on it for the 10 frames of bowling. And this is a pencil that you would have or it would be on the table at, the, at your bowling lane for you to keep score. There's no eraser on it because we don't want people erasing their bowling score and changing it. Uh, and when I was a kid, I was in bowling leagues. And that's what one of the things we did Saturday morning off to the bowling alley for our league and it was all kinds of fun but it was way before the automated scorekeeping so if you were keeping your the bowling score for your team which was generally my job uh, although others could do it too you had to know your math um, and I loved doing bowling scores and I am proud to say I am of the age where I can keep a bowling score manually um, and I know how that works and I know how to do the addition and um, it is, uh, it's cool. And I haven't seen one of these in, in, in decades and I cannot wait to try that. So a little trip down memory lane. And then let's see, in the third and final envelope, you know, some of this stuff, it's like, you know, you order it and then you kind of forget what you order. Aha, uh -huh, are some other non-pencil odds and ends. So I've got, look at this, look at this nice pencil clip. So that would fit a standard pencil and you've got a nice clip there. Clip that pencil onto your, onto your pocket. I like that. So uh, I wanted one of these. Oh, look, here's another. Uh, this is a harvest. This is from the Musgrave Pencil Company. This is their version of the red and blue checking pencil or editor's pencil, as the case may be. And then I love these. These are um, uh, Aspara. They come in all kinds of colors. I just went with the um, 
yellow and the red these are the jumbo writing pencils look how big these are you know this i could see too uh, an artist using this pencil for um uh, for drawing and sketching it would probably be very good nice big pencil wonderful for small hands and big hands too but um uh, to write with and then i've got a couple of erasers here that i had not seen or used before so here's a plastic eraser um uh hino diwoshi company uh, from japan and it's sort of a long narrow eraser and then here is the uh, mono tough break resistant plastic eraser um, I've heard good things about both of these and I haven't tried them. So uh, when we do some, when I do some eraser reviews here, I'll put those in the mix. So that is my order um, and all these goodies here from the CW Pencil Enterprise store in New York. So um, I'm so excited. Consider this a little preview of coming attractions here on Always Analog. Uh, and uh, thanks for uh, opening the box with me and I look forward to seeing you and reviewing this stuff in future episodes right here on Always Analog.